welcome to another installment of Crochet Braids, guys. Lola here. So I am doing the boho locks, but with a shorter style. And it's again a curly faux lock style that is really, really light and really easy to put in. So I just thought I would jump on here really quickly. I'm not going to show in detail, but I'm going to show you how I get this done in three, two, one. Hey guys, Lola here. Uh, first off, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Um, if you like what you see, do like. And um, if you uh, like seeing these videos, then do uh, comment below and please subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get new video notifications so that you don't miss any of the action. Um, I've been gone for a little while, um, but actually I do have videos lined up. So I may actually upload these videos in the wrong order. So I have just taken out the Havana Mambo Twists, which are currently hanging out behind me because I have washed and conditioned them. And I currently have the pack for the next hairstyle, which is the curly faux locks, but kind of a bob style because it's shorter and in a bronze color, which is blonde, but also bronze. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I have six packs of this. I usually don't end up needing that many, but we'll see. Um, so what I've been doing with the hairs um, straight from the factory, I've done this with this set as well, is first um, hot water and apple cider vinegar in a sink for about 15 minutes usually. And then I rinsed that and I did a shampoo and conditioner with just the shampoo and conditioner that I use. This is the conditioner I'm currently using on my hair. It's just a own brand by Little that's kind of a vitamin B5 um, based. Um, and then for styling, I'm going to be using aloe vera gel and coconut oil, and I've just dropped my aloe vera gel. Never mind. Right, guys, so on to the video. I will braid up my hair, and then I will show you the braid pattern because I have switched it up. So just showing you the braid pattern several hours later, which is eight corners getting straight back after the leave out in front, and going from right to left, except for the very first one, all the others uh, feed into each other and into braids and then I sewed the very last ones along the left and within the middle with a weaving thread. So I'm not going to show how I actually install the crochets because there's plenty of videos that I put up here of how to but just showing the steps as it goes on and it went on quite quickly um, and just showing how it looks. Perimeter I crocheted in like with my first faux locks video. Okay guys, so this final result. I just thought I'd jump in here in daylight to let you see what the final look is. Oh my gosh, there's still one that I need to crochet in, so I hope we do that. But yeah, I will see you guys later.